Alright guys, home from work, just about to head down to the bank to make this deposit into a specified account with the bank that I'm getting my loan through, so that tomorrow when settlement happens, all the money is already there, ready to be transferred, as well as the amount from my loan. All of that put together makes the total amount needed to purchase this property and the title will be issued in my name and I'll officially own it as of tomorrow. So I could not have uh, pushed it tighter if I had it tried. Um, I haven't had the full amount of money that I need in my account until today. So even if I wanted to, yesterday I couldn't have paid it. So this is just classic me, this is what I do, but at, at the end of the day, things happen, I get things done, and it's gonna fucking happen. So, I'm stoked about that, but I certainly, certainly pushed it as far as I could, that's for sure. So, basically, to get me over the line, I've had to sell my computer, which was a cash injection of 2,700, plus I've had to borrow 2,000 off, um, off my dad. Now that is actually not going towards um, the 26 grand that I've got to pay towards the house. That's actually just going to sit in my account and be in there so that any automatic payments that do come out, including the mortgage for this place, will still be covered. So I'm not going to default on anything because basically I'm completely clearing out my account for this. So it's it's very close, but it's, it's all go and it's going to happen. Um, you know, this is probably the time when people collapse and don't think it can happen and don't believe in themselves. But I knew that I could do it. Um, let's say if I didn't go to New Zealand, I would have, I wouldn't have had to borrow any money. But you know, I've still had a holiday. I'm still able to buy supplements. I'm still able to go to the gym. You know, buy things I want when I want them and acquire this property and that's the main thing i don't want to live i don't want to live like a you know in poverty i still need to be able to live and continue you know my lifestyle it's not extravagant at all but i do when i want something i pretty much buy it um but in saying that i'm, I'm probably gonna have to tighten my belt a little bit in the next few months but we will see how that goes but anyways enough talk it's time to head down to the bank pay this money which is very exciting and I'll see you when I see you nothing can stop me I'm all the way up oh. we're done everything's done bank manager just text to tell me that the funds have been put in the account they're in there all ready for tomorrow $26,100 waiting to be taken and it's going to be awesome so i'm going to leave you guys now um i'll come back tomorrow when i've got word that the that the deal has been done and um i will be a landlord so yeah 6 30 tomorrow early start early start for work and the next day and then finally on friday i'll have a day off so i'll be vlogging that day for sure I'll be taking this baby out. And what does that mean? That means three full batteries and a whole day to make some magic with that. So, it's stupid. I've got the drone, but I hardly use it. And it's such an awesome piece of machinery, man. It's just freaking epic. And the things you can do with it are unbelievable. I'm just not living up to its potential nowhere near so i need to start doing that i'm sure you guys will enjoy it i mean i'm seeing i'm seeing more and more um vloggers on youtube getting getting drones getting the phantom and making epic shit with it and i'm like why the fuck aren't i putting that in my vlogs so i'm gonna start doing that uh but in the meantime guys it's just i'm gonna hit the gym now uh what have i got I did arms and shoulders yesterday, I did back and back the day before that, I did chest the day before that, and legs the day before that, so today is legs, I'm about to go and smash them, 
there um there's definitely I don't know if you guys can see that but it's definitely a bit of shape coming in so I'm happy about that but I'm not going to take the the camera to the gym I've I'm sure you guys are getting sick of uh, sick of so many episodes. I just had so much footage to to cram into these episodes. So since I got back from New Zealand, and basically since I got to New Zealand, you know, my my uh, my vlogging has slowed down because I realised I'm probably saying everything five times before, like before it even happens, and I'm just having way too much footage. So I slowed it down a little. But if you guys have anything in particular you'd like to see, please let me know. And um, in the meantime, I'll leave you guys with a nice shot of my dead tree, which I'm going to get rid of. And the lovely birds, which I don't know the name of, but that's okay. So I'll see you guys back here tomorrow after work with the confirmation that I've bought the house. Until then, have a great night. I will too. <clears throat> so, turns out I'm a landlord. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Just finished work. I got the call at about three from the conveyancer saying that uh, the, the settlement is all done. All the funds have been transferred. The title has been issued into my name and settlement is complete and I am a new homeowner so she congratulated me and um, it was yeah fantastic smooth smooth sailing no dramas all the money was in the account on time which was a bit of a hustle in the end as you guys know but it happened so I'm happy but uh, it's about four yeah quarter past four at the moment all the shops close at like five and I've got shitloads of stuff to do I've got to pay my credit card, I've got to go check the post office box, I've got to buy some groceries, I've got to go to Telstra and get a new phone, which, you know, doesn't sound like I should be buying a new phone right now, but I'm actually not paying out any money, I'm getting a new phone on contract, blah blah blah, you know how it is, paying off as you go, so we got that, go to the gym, and get some groceries but I think I said that anyways no time to waste I gotta go so I'm gonna go to pay the credit card I'm gonna check the post office box I'm hoping I've got my uh, package from Massive Joe's that's what I'm waiting for and um, I'll see you guys in town oh and uh, turns out I'm on a scooter uh, for the foreseeable future anyway uh, 1200 bucks to fix my car at the moment and as you guys know I've got next to no money so that ain't happening for a, a little while which is kind of a convenience but um, we get over it get over it Samsung Galaxy S7. I've, uh, I've got the camera on <clears throat> 1080p at 60 frames per second and the quality is absolutely amazing and I think as of tomorrow I'm gonna put the GoPro away and start using this because this is fucking sweet. So and there's gonna be no fisheye action on the lens so especially for you know if I want to show you like scenery or anything basically that I want to show you that I'm looking at um, you definitely don't want fisheye so the only good thing for that is basically when I'm doing these vlogs even in the gym having having that sort of um, yeah distortion isn't good so this is the shit and I can't wait to use it but um, before I go inside I, I just want to say first and foremost you know thanks thanks for Thanks for coming along with me on this ride. Um, today was a day that I knew was coming. When I first made this this video, Jake version 3.0, an introduction, that was the first one. It was about six weeks ago now. And I knew that today was coming, and today was going to be an awesome day, and um, an exciting day, and it has been. You know, it's been awesome. 
Um, but I, I do want to say that anyone can do this. You know, property investment is is uh, it's it's scary, but in saying that, once you've done once you've done one, it seems way way less scary. And and once you've done two, um, basically, I'm seeing it as <laughs> I'm seeing buying property in the same way I, I see buying a loaf of bread down at the supermarket. I want, I want the best deal. Um, it's all about facts and figures. It's about numbers. It's not about emotion. Um, I, I'm definitely the last thing you want to do is get emotionally attached to an investment property. Even though I love it, um, I'm certainly not emotionally attached. All it is is a business transaction to me. So that's what that's the way I'm going to be treat, treating it into the future as well. Um, <clears throat> but you know I. I put up a post last night on Facebook about it, um, saying that I was going to be a landlord the next day. And I also wrote that, like I'm telling you guys, <laughs> it may it may be easier than you think. You know, um, the banks may want to lend you more money than you think. You may be eligible. You never know. Go in there with a property that you're looking at with concrete numbers. If, if the numbers make sense, someone's going to listen to you. Some bank manager somewhere is going to listen to you if the numbers make sense. You may even, you know, you might be bankrupt. I, I guarantee you guys, everything goes to shit. I go, to ba I go bankrupt, file for bankruptcy. I will still be able to get finance. I'm telling you, I'll find a way. And you do. If you want something bad enough, you find a way. So I'll leave you guys with that tonight. I actually went to the supermarket just before. I picked up a whole array of low carb foods. As of tomorrow, this shit is getting serious. I'm changing up what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you some more details about how I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but I have done this once before, and it was it was when I first started cutting down. Um, my motivation was high as fuck. I, cheating on my diet was just not gonna happen, and that was when I got the best results I've ever had. So I'm going back to the low carb diet, keto, Atkins, low carb, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be tough for the first few days, but I do believe that once you get past that, uh, your brain feeds off ketones, you know, you need to, and going into ketosis, um, a lot of people have said that you have clarity and you've actually got more energy and you know, I, I don't think a low carb diet would, would suit trying to put on muscle, but as far as maintaining it and trying to lose fat in the fastest way possible whilst not losing any muscle, I think that a keto diet could work well for me and I'm going to give it a good shot. So starting tomorrow, I'll show you guys a full day of eating, keto style, and we're talking 50 grams of carbs or under for the whole day. Um, so let's see how we go. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've done that. If I do go low carb, I, I tend to feel hungry first off, but I do get past that point and then it gets easier. So let's hope that, uh, you know, I'm not going to go ridiculously low on fats either. I'm going to have at least 100, 120 grams of fat a day, um, plus my protein and minimal carbs. So that's a good amount of fat. I should have a good amount of food. Should, should be you know quite satisfied on 2500 calories of protein and fats and we'll see how we go but until then guys thanks for joining me once again hope everyone's having a great day great evening it's april the 27th 2016 and i've just taken my first step to becoming a property investor as a career and retiring from my day job because at the end of the day that is my ultimate goal so i'll see you guys tomorrow